really crazy. We are, everybody is really scared because we don't know what happened really. Surveillance video shows the suspect, Aaron Scuro, enter El Vaquero Mexican restaurant and approach server Felipe Moreno. Moreno says Scuro kept asking for a woman named Jennifer, but no Jennifers work there. Did she go and take a couple jarritos from the refrigerator right there? He take two bottles and with one of those try to give me in the, in the head. Based on the video, you see Scuro leave, then re-enter with something that looks like a gun in his hand. He then points it directly at several people inside. He turned the face and with that gun, try to, he say, I want to kill you. And I say, what? I scared, try, I say, no. And I, I scream, he got a gun. And everybody run. Today in court, Scuro's attorney says he has a long history of mental illness and has been off his medication. According to the prosecutor's office, after he left El Vaquero, he crashed his car and tried to steal another one. He ran from the crash scene, entered Columbia one day, demanded the keys to a sports car, produced a mace canister, canister that was shaped like a firearm, <coughs> stated that it was a robbery punched and kicked the manager before he was uh, tackled by other employees of the dealership. The suspect was arrested yesterday. This morning, the judge set a $70,000 bond on those charges. His next court appearance is scheduled for August 13th. Reporting live at the Hamilton County Justice Center, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. All right.